Hello and welcome back to yet another one of my uh, bootstrap tutorials and in the last video we set up this accordion and um, got that done pretty quickly in this video we're finally gonna put something in our main area right here to the right uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this slider pretty basic uh, not the best looking slider but it's very functional and it's flexible so let's get started I'm going to switch back over to my index.html file and in the last video we wrapped up the accordion and now we're finally going to put something over here uh, oh by the way I added this new package to Sublime and it kind of well it underlines matching brackets and uh, I tweaked mine a little bit uh, to make it a little more readable for you guys but hope that helps you so as I said, we're going to do a slider this time, and we're going to give this an ID of slider, not sleeter, and it's going to have a class of carousel slide, I had to think about that one, and we're going to close it out, and inside that, we're going to need another div and it's going to have a class of carousel inner up dash inner and we'll close that one out inside of our inner we'll need the actual div that's going to hold um, our, our content and that's going to have a class of item and we'll close this out so we got our main div for the slider. We got our uh, second div for the, the inner part that's going to hold every single slide. Uh, you can think of item as uh, another, another way of referencing a, a particular slide. And right outside of our div with the carousel inner, so right under this line, we'll need our controls for the slider. They're going to be two anchor tags and I'll just type one and then copy and paste. And I'll do the left one first carousel dash control put a reference to the main slider. Remember we gave our first div this ID of a slider and that's why we have to put it here in our control use a data slide attribute and uh, we'll put previous and then we could put an arrow this way and then close our anchor tag but instead I'm actually gonna write the um, HTML code for it so I'm gonna use ampersand L S A Q U O semicolon and that's going to give us a nice little left arrow and then I'm just going to copy and paste this line uh, right below or hit command shift D <clears throat> and I'll change this one to right I'm going to change this one from previous to next and I'm going to change this L right here into an R inside of our item we're going to need an image and I'm going to switch back over to my browser and if you haven't noticed I have this uh, this page loaded already and it's placehold.it and uh, this is a cool resource for just having placeholder images and that's what we're going to use because I don't have any I'm actually just going to copy and paste this image tag right here and I'm going to switch back to my text and directly under item I'm going to add that and I actually want this to be a little bit bigger I'm gonna make that 850 by 550 we need a caption for our image so we're gonna add a div and give it a class of carousel caption and then close that out and uh, we'll just give it a I don't know, some random stuff. 
uh, headline for image one. Um, and then, I don't know. Description of image one. That, yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to copy this a few times and I'm only going to copy the item and you have to make sure that it stays within the carousel dash inner or else your, uh, your slider might not or actually it won't function properly so I'm only going to use three of them and to make sure we're sliding to different ones I'm just going to put two here down here I'll put a three so I have my slider div set up, inner carousel. I've got all the items and I've got the two controls. I need one last thing and I have to set uh, one of these items to be the default slide. That is the slide that's shown as soon as your page loads. And to do that, you just have to add the active class to any one of your items. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the first one. And that should be it. I'm going to go ahead and save it and switch back to my browser and go back to my index.html tab and refresh and there we have a slider it's already fully functional it's got our captions in it and it's got our uh, image placeholders so that's going to be it for this video in the next one we'll go ahead and do this uh, tabable content